Um, so to me, when we talk about leading in Waterloo or leading in Iowa, I feel like you have to have the type of personality that can hold a lot because there's a lot of emotion that goes into it. There's a lot of um, youth, elderly. There's a lot of people that are gonna need a strong backbone here in our town. So to me, leading in Iowa means you have to be strong, you have to be persistent, and you have to show up. You have to show up for your people. I tell you what, it's very, very humbling to be able to do that, uh, especially uh, from where I came you know, from where I come from and, and, and all the things that I've gone through. It just, it feels fantastic because you're not just leading uh, uh, one or two people, you're leading an entire county. So when I think of uh, leading uh, the, the black capital, uh, I'll probably say that I don't look at it as leadership because I have a service, service mentality. I just think that I get an opportunity to serve so many people within this community that are so rich and uh, and in diversity and other aspects. So being able to see aspiring African Americans, you know, reminds me of myself. Reminds me of the hopes and aspirations. So anything that I can do as mayor to help people fulfill their their potential, uh, to to create opportunities. I think it's an incredible opportunity that I have that I wouldn't trade for anything in the world. Living and growing up uh, in the black capital of Iowa uh, really does present some cool opportunities to talk about the state in a way that other communities uh, don't typically have that conversation, right? So we get to have uh, real talks. Sometimes those are difficult conversations. Uh, but oftentimes those are conversations about promise and about opportunity uh, and ultimately about uh, the American dream um, that too often we allow to uh, be the dream of only a few, uh, but true patriotism uh, is actually challenging ourselves to live up to that dream and to live up to that potential.